Hello Booktube and welcome to my bookshelves. So today I'm going to do my last book haul of 2018, so last few books that I bought this month. But before I do that, I've got a read-along announcement. So a few weeks ago in the comment section of one of my videos, uh, one of my subscribers, Steve, and we started talking about Sherlock Holmes. And I said I hadn't read any Sherlock Holmes for ages. I really must read some next year. So we sort of arranged a buddy read to some of his short stories. Um, he's picked three stories, I've picked three stories, and we're going to read them over a week. But I thought I would open it out to everyone else and sort of do a general read-along of some Sherlock Holmes short stories over a week, and at the end of the week... Uh, maybe do a, a quick tally to see which one is our favourite of those six. So the Sherlock Holmes short story read-along is going to start on the 7th of January and we have picked six short stories to read in that week. So the short stories that we are going to read are the Adventures of the Rygate Squire, also known, sometimes known as the Rygate Puzzle in some editions, and that's in the memoirs of Sherlock Holmes. The Adventure of the Noble Bachelor, that's in the Adventures of Sherlock Holmes. The Adventures of Black Peter, that's in the Return of Sherlock Holmes. The Adventure of the Three Students, that's in the Return of, Stuart, the Return of Sherlock Holmes. The Adventure of the Devil's Foot in His Last Bow, and The Adventure of the Three Gables in the Casebook of Sherlock Holmes. So they are the six. I will list all the details down in the bottom, down in the comments. So the plan is um, we're going to read one a day and then communicate via email and so forth and sort of discuss the story of the day. But I thought I'd open it out to the booktube community and Twitter and Instagram as well and try and get a a, a sort of general read along as well and and sort of sort of share the Sherlock Holmes stories around. So if you want to to take part in that read along I'll put all the details down below. Follow me on Twitter as well where well, I'll announce it as well and Instagram um, all the details. So the 7th of January for a whole week we will be reading Sherlock Holmes short stories. So on with the book haul. So I've got some, so I've got some thrillers and mystery books that I've picked up this week. So um, charity shops and so forth. And let's get into the books. So the first one is Stephen King. Um, for those of you who follow my channel, I'm doing a Stephen King reading project where I'm reading all of his books. Um, I originally started reading them and stopped in the mid nineties. And so far I am up to. I've just read Gerald's Game and Dolores Claiborne, so I'm sort of into his mid-90s books at the moment. This is from A Buick 8. I don't know anything about this one. From reading the blurb, it sounds a lot like Christine, in which there's a car that has some power over people, but I know nothing else about this at all. So looking forward to getting to this one eventually, and that is from A Buick 8. Next one is a classic Golden Age murder mystery, and it is Death Walks in Eastreps by Francis Beading. So this is a Golden Age book from the 1930s, but it's not published by the British Library, um, Crime Classics, so they have their own editions out. This is a, a different publishers. Um, this is an Inspector Wilkins mystery. Again, don't know anything about it, but from the blurb, um, this book incorporates all of the classic British crime, all the elements of the all the elements of the British crime classics. Um, a double identity, soaring body count, case of extortion, dramatic courtroom scene, and was once and was once pronounced one of the ten greatest detective novels of all time. Never heard of it before, and that is Death Walks in East Streps by Francis Beeding. So. I shall look forward to discovering this one. Some thrillers now, which I've picked up. This one is One of Us is Lying by Karen M. McManus. And this is five students walk into detention and only four leave alive. 
sounds interesting. It's got nice red pages as well. Um, it sounds... I don't read too much of the blurb. I like to go into thrillers not knowing too much in advance. But it sounds a lot like um, If We Were Villains by M.L. Rio, which is sort of a, a load of students who one of them dies and lots of drama. It sounds a lot like that. I may be wrong. But yeah, it's um, One of Us is Lying by Karen M. McManus. A Scandinavian noir now. And this one is The Mind's Eye by Hakan Nessa. And this is an Inspector Van Veteran, or Veteran mystery. I've got a few um, sort of Swedish noir books to read. I've got an Icelandic one as well. So I've got a few of those. I haven't read any yet, so I'm planning to get to these next year some good some good um scandinavian and noir books and that is hacken nessa the mind's eye next one is a booktube favorite and that is claire mackintosh i let you go so i read i see you by claire mackintosh early this year didn't really like it it was okay but i didn't really like the plot um apparently this one is a lot better than i see you um and yeah, I don't really know too much about it. I don't want to spoil it by reading too much into it before I read it. Um, but it's a booktube favourite. Everyone seems to like this one more than I See You. So yeah, that's Claire McIntosh's I Let You Go. Another thriller is The Dead X by Jane Corey. Um, this sounds This sounds really good. This is about a husband and wife. Um, she is attacked and then starts suffering blackouts or epilepsy um, and he has to look after her, but then he dies and she's I presume she is suspected of it during one of her blackouts I think it's a sort of a an unreliable narrator type thriller book yeah so looking forward to that one that is The Dead X by Jane Corey and finally, one I've been looking forward to for a long time, that is Christine Ritter's Bonfire. So Christine Ritter is more famous as an actress. She is Jessica Jones in the Marvel, is it Marvel? In the Marvel series, um, but she's also written a thriller. Um, it's got huge reviews on Goodreads and Booktube earlier this year. I'm um, looking forward to that one. It's not a very thick book, it's quite thin. So it should be a quick read, yeah, and really looking forward to that one. So that is my final book haul of 2018. I don't plan on buying any more books now until the new year. Hopefully I'll have some money to spend so I can purchase lots of brand new shiny books. So I hope you're all well, and I will be doing one final video at the end of the year, which will be my top 10 of 2018. Um, if you want to join in the Sherlock Holmes readathon, as I say, all the details will be down below and on Twitter and Instagram. And I will talk to you all soon. See you all again in my next video. Thank you for watching.